Welcome to the Department of Commerce Electronic Certificate Operation System. In this video, we will be showing users how to use the Registered Exporter System, REX, through the Electronic Certificate of Origin for brand new companies who have not previously registered with REX with the Department of Commerce. Now, you may be a company who has already registered with the REX system and has a REX registration number as well as a REX certificate. If that is the case, go ahead and watch the previous video in this series as this video is for companies who are new to the REX system. To start things off, let's go ahead and log into the system. A couple of things all exporters must know is that only certain types of products can be added to the REX system. The steps on adding products are explained in detail in the previous videos, so go ahead and watch those if you require a step-by-step -step explanation. The most important thing is that products that are exported to the European Union countries under the GSP agreement can be selected for REX. Furthermore, these products must have a Department of Commerce approved cost statement, material sheet or an affidavit before they can be selected for REX. I will now proceed to click on the REX registration tile. This directs me to the REX registration page where I am asked a question of whether I am already an exporter registered with REX. Now since I am a new company, I will go ahead and click No. Now first of all, the REX pre-application must be completed. To access the REX pre-application, click on the blue text. This will open up a new tab directing me to the EU trade portal. I will have to fill in this application. And once completed, I will download the application I just completed as a PDF and I will go back to the Electronic Certificate of Origin system and upload the completed pre-application PDF. Once that is done, go ahead and click on Submit. I am now directed to the Add Product page. In here, you will be able to select products for your VEX registration. Now, as stated before, only products that are for EU countries under GSP with Department of Commerce approved cost statements, material sheets or affidavits will appear in this drop-down list. If your product does not appear in this drop-down list, please make sure that the aforementioned prerequisites are fulfilled. And with that, we will hit submit. I will now be directed back to the dashboard. Now, if I try clicking on REX registration tile, I am unable to do so as I must wait for the Department of Commerce to review my newly added products. I will now skip ahead in time to show you what a reviewal from the Department of Commerce may look like. I will receive an email such as this confirming the addition of the new products along with the brand new REX certificate that was produced for me by the Department of Commerce. I will also be assigned a REX registration number. Now if I go back to the dashboard and click on the VEX registration tile, I will be directed to this file upload screen. I am required to upload a scanned copy of the VEX certificate after I place a signature of the authorized person on it. I cannot proceed to add new VEX products until I complete this step and receive the final confirmation from the Department of Commerce. So let me go ahead and place the authorized person's signature on the VEX certificate that I received through mail, scan it, and upload it for Department of Commerce review. I will once again skip ahead in time. The Department of Commerce will then place their signatures on the REX certificate that I just uploaded and will send me an email such as this with the REX certificate as an attachment. This concludes a single cycle with the VEX registration process. I can now proceed to the dashboard, click on the VEX registration tile once more if I wish to add new products. And I will have to go through the product registration cycle described above once again to successfully obtain a brand new VEX certificate. This concludes the demonstration of VEX registration for new VEX companies with the Department of Commerce. Thank you for watching.